Good morning guys, Toolman Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we build business, create community, find freedom, and share success. It's Wednesday, which means it's time for another Tool Time Gear review. And as always, I got a good one for you. You're going to be surprised when I tell you it's DeWalt brand. And this time we're going to talk about knee pads from, again, a guy who doesn't typically wear knee pads. So hang in there, I'll be right back. All right, guys, real quick. If you haven't before, run by toolmantim.co. That's toolmantim.co to find out everything there is to know about what I do, my social media links, my content creation schedule, and most importantly, go by the shop where I have a ton of recommended products, not selling anything, just trying to point you in the right direction of solutions to problems like, hey, my kids built uh, paint on vinyl siding. What do I use to get it off? Or I need to hang a really heavy picture on a wall, but I'm not allowed to drill any holes in the wall. What do I use? So go by there, check that out, and you'll find some solutions that have either made me money in my handyman business or saved me money in real life. Thanks, guys. And if you buy anything from those affiliate links, you'll help support this channel and the content I create. All right, so let me start off with a story. <laughs> Oh, back in 2000, oh man, I was young then. Anyway, <laughs> a little more hair, anyway. But back in 2000, I worked at a summer camp for kids whose parents were actually in jail. It was a, a, re a really neat place. We had a really small budget, but it was, you know, it was a really cool place to work. And we did everything. And I was in the basement one day. We were down there, I think we were maybe having chapel service or something like that. And I heard the phone ring. So I was rushing to get it so it wouldn't interrupt the speaker. And when I did... I tripped over a two before that stuck up like this. I'll never forget it was a box hockey game. Basically a big frame on the floor where you play hockey with a puck and a stick. And Anyway, and I went whoop, right to the ground and I landed with all my force straight on my kneecap on the cement floor. And I thought, oh, that didn't feel very good. And by the next morning, it had swelled up probably that much. So they took me to the doctor, outpatients, which was about a half hour drive away. And she said, I'm pretty sure it's broken, but... There's not much we can do. We could put you in a cast, but that'll make you immobile all summer. Or you can kind of leave it be and see what happens. And so, of course, I wanted to keep working. So I left it be and worked the rest of the summer. And eventually the swelling went down. But ever since, it always feels like, this awful, like there's a piece of gravel inside my kneecap when I, when I put my knee on the wrong type of surface. And stupid me or stubborn me or whatever has taken me 20 years to decide, you know what, it's probably time to start wearing knee pads. Because for years, I'm down putting laminate floor, laying uh, stone on the ground, crawling around in gravel, dirt, whatever, and I never wear uh, knee pads. So it was time to switch and start using them. So again, me and my wife, we were doing the long, slow walk through Home Depot, and I told her, I said, I'm on the search for uh, knee pads, which was similar to the time I was on the search for a tool belt. She just kind of giggled and said, yeah, sure, whatever. And you know what? It turned out it was a pretty good purchase because I've used them a lot since. They're a lot more comfortable than I expected. And you know what? A little more durable too, but not nowhere near as hot as I thought they would be or as constrictive. So real quick, if you guys have switched over to knee pads or started using them or have always used them just throw it in the comments below let me know what you think because I think as you get older you got to support your knees anyway so that being said about this product model number is DG5224 they're kind of the the second they weren't quite the the foamy cheap entry level ones but they were one step up from that so nothing real serious I uh, get these at Home Depot, but they are absolutely available on Amazon as well. 4.2 stars out of 5 with 750 reviews on Amazon. So people are fairly happy with them. Kind of reinforced but flexible PVC outer shell with a closed cell foam on the inside and then a nice comfortable fabric on the outside. They got a nylon strap on the bottom, which is adjustable but not stretchy. And then they have a nice elastic strap on the top which again is adjustable, but also stretchy. So as you bend and flex with it, it just, it holds up and it's not too uncomfortable. The straps or the, the buckles, they're not metal or anything real heavy duty. So I, I'm going to guess that if I don't wear these out first, eventually that part's going to break or give free. Cause it's just a, uh, there's two little plastic tips in there that just listen here. 
snap into place, which is great. It makes it difficult to take off again, which is also good. See, okay, there we go. Pops back off and it works. But I have a feeling that's going to be the failure point down the road. But again, I'm not a you know professional flooring layer or anything like that. So I don't spend all kinds of time on my knees. Then my wife would have a joke to say about that and we'd move on and both giggle like little kids and have fun with it. But yes, yeah, so for a guy like me who, you know, maybe once every couple of weeks has a job where he's got to crawl around on the ground, these have been really, really good. Nice and flexible. They don't make my knees sweat like I figured they would. And they, they seem to hold on pretty good. I've, I've noticed a little bit over time as you use them, this has backed off a bit and you got to tighten it up a little, but that's neither here nor there. It, they stay in place. I can wear them. They're comfortable enough that I don't need to take them off when I'm up working around. When I was painting the, uh, well, I've been on quarantine for the last two weeks. And so of course I'm getting lots of shit done around the yard and I had to paint my overdue fence needed to be stained. And of course the bottom row, it's way quicker, way easier to get down on the ground and just shimmy across on your knees. One recommendation I haven't tried, well, I did try, but I haven't used it out in the real world yet is uh, some of the users on the Amazon review said to crisscross the straps and they'll stay in place better. I did try that. I found I couldn't get a real good, it, it just didn't fit well. I don't know if it's my bigger legs or what it is, but it just, they, they didn't fit well. So I, I've gone to straight across like this. And every so often, I will say that um, they get a little loose up here and you got to tighten them up to cinch them into your knee, but it's really not that bad. And the, the two main complaints from other users, uh, long-time users, and most people like them because they know, you know, they're not super expensive, but they are going to wear it eventually. You'll see along here, it's hard to see, but the, the stitching tends to give way after a while. So that's one complaint where it starts coming apart before the entire piece wears through. But for cheap kind of nylon plasticky type knee pads it's not bad and the other complaint for most people was the difficulty of the buckles to snap into place and the relatively short lifespan of them themselves so they would eventually kind of wear out and they would be useless but again you know if I were a professional flooring layer I would have nice heavy duty non-marring gel knee pads that probably cost me $150 a pair or something like that but for what I do these DeWalt have been great. They absolutely, they do the trick. And again, <laughs> I know I've been trying some things out that I haven't used before. The tool belt was the same way. Uh, I wasn't a tool belt user. I've tested it out on some projects around the house and I've really grown accustomed to it. Knee pads are the same way. I think I'm gonna use these more than I use my tool belt. So guys, what do you think? Are you a knee pad user? If you're not, maybe give them a shot. <laughs> I had a, a guy, I believe it was Ken on social media. If it wasn't, I really apologize. But he said that uh, my 40 year old knees will thank me in a few years for wearing knee pads. And, and you know, when we're young and dumb, we, we, we just beat our body to pieces and don't think about it. And then as you get older, you're like, oh yeah, I really need to take care of my back or my knees or, you know, anyway. And that's what this is for. So. Anyway, I like them. They meet the Tool, uh, tool Man Tim seal of approval, which is great. They're not expensive. They're not going to be a buy it for life item. They're going to be something that's going to wear out with time. But for the little bit of an upfront investment, these guys will last me quite a while. So that's it, guys. Remember, if you get value from these reviews, take a minute and share them on your social platform of choice. That helps grow our community. And if you're new here and you want to stick around, hit that subscribe button because I love having you here. Love talking about tools because my wife gets tired of listening to me, so I figured I might as well start a YouTube channel so you guys can listen to me instead. <laughs> well, that's it for me this week, guys. So as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.